switch always drop. We have the atomic structure, and it entails um, formation of ions, molecules, compounds, and radicals. The next one is periodic chemistry, where you are going to determine the atomic sizes, ionic size, ionization energy, and then so on. And the next topic we look at is atomic bonds, which includes covalent bonds, ionic bonds, coordinate covalent bonds, and so on. The more concepts, calculation of the molar mass, molar concentration, mass concentration, percentage purity, and so on. And the next one, we look at nuclear chemistry, calculation of half-life, balancing of nuclear reactions, and then the uses of X-ray, and so on. The next one, we are looking at states of matter, stating of Gay-Lussac's law, partial pressure, universal gas law, Dalton's law, and so on. Then the next one, we are looking at energy and energy changes, calculation of enthalpy change, stating the Hess law, exothermic and endothermic reactions. Then the next one is rate of reactions, where we look at the collision theory, um, calculating the rate determining step, first order reaction, second order reaction. Then the next one is chemical equilibrium, the impact of temperature, pressure, volume on reactions, and then Leach at less low. And the next topic is acid base and salt, which has to do with calculation of the pH, POH, pKa, and then concentration as well. The next one we look at solubility. Solubility, checking if a solution is saturated, unsaturated, or super saturated. And then you can be asked to draw a solubility curve on a graph sheet. Then the next one we are looking at redox reaction. With redox reaction, balancing of redox reaction. Then the next one we are looking at chemistry, industry and the environment, making of soap and the impact of chemistry on the environment. And then the last but not the least, which you should always expect is organic chemistry. Alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, alkanoles, amines and their properties. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos which I make.